We are super excited to announce the new availability of reoccurring live classes and live interactive webinar events. So now we have the ability to make a class or a webinar reoccurring. So basically the same link can be used and you can set the dates and the times for your live class or live webinar to actually run at set times that you specify. You also have the control in there to be able to set um, custom dates as well. So if you're going on a holiday or something, you can cancel one of the dates and uh, get it all to run. Now also the most important thing here as well to remember is that it reoccurs, but it will also um, send out the email uh, notifications, so the reminders for each event. So like in live classes, if someone signs up for a live class, they can then just go in there and they're straight away registered for the rest of the reoccurring events. Now, it is important also to remember that you can only run up to 30 reoccurring events, okay, at a time, and then you need to just clone it or just reset it up. Um, and you can run it for another 30 events as well. So I'm gonna take you through the process now of setting up reoccurrings. It's really easy. Once you understand it, you'll be using it all of the time. And remember, this works with the new uh, webinar live class and the webinar um, blocks that you can put into your page as well. So this is super handy for you guys that are running reoccurring events all the time. So let's get on with it and let me show you how it all works. So guys, I'm in a live classes now. So you sit into your live and into classes. And of course you can go into webinars. They work in exactly the same way. So by showing you the live classes, you'll understand the live webinar recurring feature as well. So I'm gonna go first of all and click a live class. And you're now going to see, it's gonna look pretty much the same as what you've always had it as. So you'll be very familiar with it but you're gonna see a little checkbox here that says recurring. Now, this is where we can set up our recurring lives. So what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna set up this um, live class, put an image in there, name it, and then we're just gonna select the recurring and you're gonna see how it works. Okay, so now our live has been set up. Uh, we've gone through and we set the pages up and the automations. We can now look at recurring. So here we go, we've got recurring. And uh, we just click here and you can see that uh, we have a lots of options come up. So obviously if you uncheck, you're not going to have the recurring happening. But you'll also notice here this link. Now this link really important because this link will not change. So you can issue the same URL. It will be the same URL to go through each time it reoccurs, which is great. Now there's a few little um, things I want to mention at the end of the video, but before I do that, I'm going to just go to recurring and we're going to check out what you can do in here. So let's open this up and now we have options to all of the things that we've got set up here. So you can see here that we can have an end specified date and we can have end after a specific number of occurrences. Now it's important to remember in here you can only have 30 maximum. So you can have 30 events, uh, reoccurring events happening in here. So you can also edit these recurring settings and you can view the occurrences as well. So let's go and have a look and let's say we're setting this uh, weekly. So we're going to go to weekly here and we're going to go repeat every one weeks and we're going to choose the week that we're going to re reoccur. So we're going here, we're going Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm going to do this on a Wednesday because you can see we've got Wednesday up here. So we're going to click this little checkbox here. So this will go and set this up. Now you can see that it's saying we've only got two occurrences. So what you can do is you can actually do this by a specific, specific number of occurrences. So if I click here, you can go after one week reoccurrence. And you can see we've got one here, but I can actually go in here and I can specify the maximum. So I can go down to 30. So now you can see 30 occurrences. Now, as I said before, in here we can hit occurrences and it's going to give me the date in here or once I save it. So I'm going to say this. So I've got this happening every Wednesday at 4.30 and we can say the date. So the original 
one we've set it for here is when this is the first one that's going to happen which in this case will be next Wednesday on the 16th of June and then it will carry on through at exactly the same time on exactly the same links so let me just update this now and let's just hit here to change reoccurrence all right so there we go we've got it set there now you can review these occurrences and it's going to give you all the occurrences so you need to save it first so you can get all the reoccurrences when it's happening you can see every wednesday is selected right through to the 5th of january because it's once a week okay now obviously if you did it daily then it's going to be 30 occurrences daily all right so because this is once a week if you did it once a month it would run over 30 months all right so all very easy stuff so let's just change this now you can also go um, in here to number of occurrences but you can also specifically end by a date as well so you can say in here that I want it to end at a certain date so I can come in here and I could choose something like let's take August and just choose one of these numbers doesn't really matter which one and you can see now that you have it running weekly up to that date and it's given you 11 occurrences so let me just save it and just to show you it's going to run through those so it's not going to run at 30 of them it's only going to run to a specified date in there which is really important so let's view the occurrences of this now so you can see we've got all 11 occurrences up to that date see so you got there 25th of August 2021 which is 8th of the 30th is the last Wednesday of that month so really easy to work out as I said before you can set reoccurrences monthly or even daily in here and of course set the days of the reoccurrence as well so you could set it for a Wednesday and a Thursday if you wanted to so it's really up to you, you could set all of these days it's up to you how you want that to happen so I'm going to set this back to 30 and again just make sure that you update it and it will come up with this little warning create any reminders for email schedules please reschedule it so we're going to click OK to that so it gives you a little warning there as well and um, that's really it really easy but we can also edit the reoccurrences as well so you can see we've got 30 reoccurrences we could come into here and again you can edit these as well to change things so if for instance I didn't want a one of the dates I wanted it to run but I just wanted to maybe skip one of the dates um, obviously you can come into here view occurrences and inside here you can actually have the ability to go in and delete one of them out so if I didn't for instance want to do Wednesday on the 28th of July because I was on holiday I could click delete to that it's going to disappear from here and if I close this you're now going to see that if we save it update that it will give us less inside here let's go into here and you'll see that it's going to give us the 29th there so we haven't got 30 anymore but you could also come in here if you wanted to as well and you could edit this as well so you can edit the time you could edit the webinar um, the live class or live webinar time so that one you might want to do for an hour again you might want to change this time to something else if you wanted to so you might want to set the time for this one to um, something like um, 5.30 you come in there and I could click update and you're going to see that will update in there now so you can delete these out you can also edit each of the occurrences from happening um, and once you close it down and do remember to update it there as well then you're going to see that that will update now my little tips to you uh, for setting up these reoccurrences is that if you have automation set up and even if you edit the pages it's really important that you make sure that you leave it generic so you don't want to put on there like the next one that's coming up on the 6th um, on the 16th for instance this Wednesday I don't want to put um, some custom HTML or some custom heading in there saying that this is the 16th because what will happen is when it runs to the next one it will still show the 16th because it's basically copying that and changing that scheduled time so you need to make sure that it's generic so if for instance we come into automations inside here you're going to see that my email doesn't reference a date because I leave that to the date 
uh, that's actually set up in the personalization field which gets pulled in I wouldn't actually type in here uh, on the 16th otherwise everyone that you send out is going to have that on the 16th so you've got to make sure it's generic in that way and you'll also notice in here it just says in the Wednesdays 30 minutes because it's happening every Wednesday I don't put a specific um, time or date in here because otherwise it will muck up the way that the emails would show as you go forward through it and you'll also see that uh, I've done exactly the same on things like the email reminders so there's no date showing in here it just shows when it's happening and these things in here but it doesn't actually show any dates so scheduled time is all pulled in by the personalization so it's really important to remember but pre please remember with the email reminder sequences that you do check apply to all occurrences because then it will apply it to all occurrences okay so you need to make sure in these reminders if you're setting up a reoccurring that you need to check these buttons here apply for all occurrences now uh, we haven't got it on the register because they've registered so they're basically registered for all of them inside here so it's this email uh, reminder sequences if you see this and you're applying reoccurring make sure that that is checked inside here okay and as I said to before, if you go in and edit any of the pages, I don't want to go into any of these pages and put my own custom code in here saying the 16th Wednesday. Otherwise, again, it will not get updated. As these are dynamic blocks, they update automatically for each reoccurrence. All right, that's really important to understand um, just on the basics of understanding how reoccurring events can happen inside the Zendler platform. So, okay, so now we've looked at live classes. Live webinars work in exactly the same way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click update to that, and I'm gonna jump back to live, and see if we go in live classes. This one is all set up, ready to go, with its schedule each Wednesday. So it's gonna fly out each Wednesday. Now, inside live, if I go into the live webinars, and we create a live interactive webinar in here, you're gonna see that we have these same options in here. So it works in exactly the same way. So I could come in here and say, repeat every week. And then I could say Wednesday in here. If I was using the same times, I could choose that Wednesday, Wednesday, and I could say occurrences. That'll give me 30 once I click down here. So you don't have to have all of the dates, I've just selected that. And then you can click that. So that will give me 30 occurrences of that. And there you go. Now I haven't saved this out yet. So I'll just set this one up, just so you guys can see how it works with webinars. But it's exactly the same as live classes. Okay, so this live webinar has been set up now. Again, notice that this link can be shared and you can see I've got reoccurrence turned on and I can click edit reoccurrence settings in here and you can see then there and if I go to view uh, reoccurrences, again, you have these options to edit and delete um, if you can't make it for some of these schedules. And again, make sure that you use best practices and for your pages, use the dynamically pulled in data from here um, into the pages sections. Do not um, use your own HTML to put a date in there, otherwise it will be reflected on all reoccurrences. And also best practices for automations as well, where you're pulling in from personalization fields rather than actually entering it yourself. So as long as you stick to that, then actually working with reoccurrence is really easy inside Zenla. We give you uh, so many possibilities in here to set up both daily, weekly, monthly, we enable you to repeat it by uh, the number of weeks that you want to repeat it in here. Repeat every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And we give you the dates and we also give you a specified end date if you want to enter that. And we also give you a number of occurrence to specify as well where you can pick from options there. So it's actually really easy to work with to get your head around. And hopefully this video has made it really clear. Now, the last thing I want to do um, in the next part of the video is actually to show you it in the live class and the webinar blocks and what actually happens when we run it and what happens when the next one goes out. So I'm gonna be showing you that uh, in a second. 
Okay, now we've been over recurring live classes and recurring live interactive webinars. What I want to do now is I want to show you how it forms in the blocks. These blocks that we can put into our pages um, to actually see our live classes or our live webinars. So in this case, I'm gonna use live classes and uh, also remember that we have this URL in here that we can use. So I'm gonna do this in two parts. First of all, I'm gonna come into the live webinar and I'm gonna go to the live class details and this register link, I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna jump into a page now and I'm just gonna add a button in here because this button will not change because over 30 events. So we have here the button. So I'm gonna put this button in here and you could put this button anywhere in your site. Um, if it's a live class, then you'll probably want to put it in the course access page because it's for registered users of the site or um, it's people that have actually signed up for a course. So let's go in here and just put um, live recurring. class. So what I can do is I can actually just go in here and I can take that link that we copied and I can just put that in there and because that link's going to remain the same people can always register for the next one that's coming along. So I'm going to choose action and I'm going to choose go to link and I'm just going to basically paste that link in there that you notice that registration link and then I'm going to click that I'm going to click save there. So now that button's been set up and people can access the lives that's gonna happen every Wednesday from here, because this link is not going to change, okay? So really easy to work with. So let's now put the webinar block in here. So we have these webinar live classes, and actually I'm gonna use the live classes one. We have these live classes and live webinars. So for this, I'm gonna use the live classes. I'm gonna drag this block across, and what you're going to see is one of the live classes come up because we have got one live class if we go into live classes this is our live classes but we've set it up to be reoccurring so what is actually going to happen well what's going to happen is someone will visit your page they'll book their spot whether it be a live class or a live webinar the the webinar or the live class will run and as soon as it's run it's finished so when it's finished this block will basically disappear and the new date will pop up for the following Wednesday because remember we have set this for Wednesdays so at 4.30 so the next block will come in here so this one will disappear and it will be automatic, automatically updated this is brilliant because you can leave it to run as it was working so this is exactly the same for the live webinar as well it will work in the same way as the live classes so if I was to drop the webinar block in here, if it's more of a public um, webinar that you're doing, you come down to webinars here and we can grab this block and put it across here. And now we have that live webinar block coming up. So again, once this is run, this will disappear from here and the new one will come up with the next Wednesday, because that's what you've set in the reoccurring. So this is really powerful, it's, it's a massive feature. You guys have asked for it for a while now, and we have finally implemented it for you to use inside of the Zendler platform. So we're super excited about this. It marks a step forward in our progression on making the Zendler platform the best platform uh, for online course creation on the planet.